So what does Paul Joseph Watson have to say today? I am questioning the phony, race-baiting, divisive narrative that the video seeks to elevate. So Donald Glover, Childish Gambino, is essentially playing the role of America. White America, to be more precise. Glover massacring the gospel singers is a reference to the racist murder of black churchgoers in Charleston. The guy shot at the beginning of the video also looks like Trayvon Martin's dad, cementing the Black Lives Matter theme that racist white America is hunting down African Americans. Strangely absent from the four minute video is any reference whatsoever to the number one killer of black people in America, which is other black people. People are already aware of that. This has to do with attitudes towards black people. This has to do with outside forces that are affecting black people. But, I mean, what would you know? You don't even fucking live here. And you're going to make comments about what's what should be important to black people in a country you don't even fucking live? A fact you'd think would be part of the conversation if Glover really cared about black lives. And here you are telling black people what they should find important. There are many conditions that make things that way in their communities, but you don't want to bring any of those things up. You just want to deflect when anything else is brought up and say, well, see, look, black people are the problem. Also absent is the fact that black people kill more white people than vice versa, despite the fact that white people make up a far larger percentage of the population. And this is, you know, one of those standard videos where anytime anyone wants to bring anything up to try to tackle some things that are making black people feel the way that they do, you're going to sit there and just go off about how you think black people are the scourge of society and uh, they're the problem and uh, not offer any actual solutions other than telling black people that they're the problem. According to the National Crime Victimization Survey in 2010... Yes, yes, we know about the statistics. We don't need condescending Bill Whittle to come out to explain it to us in, in very condescending elementary school fashions. Mainstream America doesn't distract from discussions about racism and social justice. It amplifies them at every available opportunity. I see it trying to be brought up, but I don't see any real serious discussion about it. Most of the discussion ends up being about people trying to deflect those that are so offended because someone took a knee at a ball game. Oh no, it's so offensive. They're, it's offensive to the country. You know, any tiny mention of any of it and people blow their top. Say the word privilege and people's heads explode. This is Sally. Uh, that's a tool. Yeah. Sally could mean cell block, a commonly used tool to unjustly keep blacks in a cycle of incarceration. Yeah. 50% homicide rate, 13% population rate. And you'll never mention the how and why. You'll just blame it on black people like normal. Glover also poses and pulls facial expressions like a caricature of Jim Crow. Jim Crow laws were racial segregation laws enacted by Democrats. Oh, that old argument again. Oh, yes, them kind of swapping places makes no difference, right? See, context, you're not good at any of it. You're just good at promoting an ideology. But as Candace Owens points out, virtually no one complaining about Jim Crow laws today even lived through the Jim Crow era. So do people who complain about Nazis, complain about neo-Nazis, can, can they not really, do they not really have any validity when they complain about that because they didn't live through it? Fuck you, dude. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery, Jim Crow, which by the way, none of you guys lived through. Your grandparents didn't. It's embarrassing that you utilize, you utilize their history. Yay, you found Candace Owens, who pretty much clones what Kanye West said. Some of the outrageous things said. Uh, come on, man. It because people didn't live through something, that's an argument for them to not be able to use that as maybe the Native Americans shouldn't ever complain about the way they were treated in the past. What kind of shit is this? You're not living through 
anything right now. You're overly privileged American. Straw man. It's a complete straw man. Nobody is saying that we're currently living through Jim Crow laws. Racism and slavery was a horrific chapter of American history, just as it was in every other part of the world where slavery was inflicted on virtually every race on the planet. That's true. But most places that had slavery don't have leftovers of the, that kind of mindset pushed onto the same demographic that was enslaved. It's still left over here in the United States. That kind of mindset is still left over. And black people are looked at as less than. They're looked at as, well, the way that you portray them in this video. Why are we still obsessively talking about this hundreds of years later? Because of the residual mindset that still exists. Could it be because Democrats don't actually care about black lives? No, but it seems you're going to bring up Chicago. It has been a record year in the city of Chicago, and for all the wrong reasons, the murder rate has never been higher. And the Chicago crime rate and talk about how, well, they must not care because, you know, the, the statistics show that they don't care. No, the statistics show that Chicago is a rough city. And the only thing they actually care about is keeping black people locked in a permanent state of mental victimhood so they can get black votes. Yeah, Democrats have done that, and Republicans have used religious people. Glover trying to escape and run from America, which is represented at the end of the video, encapsulates the overarching nihilistic message that America is corrupt, evil. America is corrupt, and it could be argued that it's evil, or that... <laughs> Many of its patterns have been evil. We certainly cause havoc across the globe. We certainly start a lot of wars. And racists! There is obviously still a lot of racism that is going on. And people like you will say, well, it's because of the statistics. Look at the statistics. People have the right to feel that way. So there's no answer. It's all just... It's black people's fault, and anyone who says any different, you know, well, it's black people's fault, so eh. So corrupt, evil, and racist that it allows Glover, a black man, to reach the top of his game in both acting and the music industry, while having one of the most celebrated and talked about songs of the year. Well, I mean, that settles it. Racism is gone then, right? Give me a fucking break, dude. While appearing on every mainstream talk show on TV, while making tens of millions of dollars in the process. So racist. America is so corrupt and evil. No, no, it's, it's only evil and it's only corrupt when people like you get demonetized on YouTube. And then it's corrupt and evil, right? And me sitting here debunking its delusory, sophistic themes isn't going to reach 120 million people. We need to create our own art. We need to create our own music. We need to create our own cultural narrative. But you do and have. Africa.